Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, I'm going to be showing off, as you can see, some Minecraft today. Uh, I've been working on a project for a long time, many years, and I refer to it as Pedrotopia. This is my city that I've been building um, pretty much solo. I've had a little bit of help here and there, but for the most part, this has been all me, 100%. Um, includes clearing out the land, leveling it all out, and then building from, from there up. Um, a lot of the designs have been unique, uh, things that I've come up with myself. Some of them I have taken from some great builders that I found on YouTube, but for the most part, this has been my own project, my own baby from the beginning. It is far from done. I have a lot of stuff that I still want to build, um, and I work on it here and there. It's a long-term project. It's not something I'm looking to get done right away, but uh, I hope you guys enjoy the tour. Stick around. Uh, and I'll be showing you guys off and explaining a little bit about what it is and how I came up with the concept and why it's important to the city. All right, here we go. I refer to it as a residential area because across the bridge, we enter the downtown area. And we'll take a look at the bridge. The bridge itself is pretty unique and pretty cool. I love the look of the bridge. It's not huge as you can see, but it's just amazing. The detail in this is just awesome. Okay. So let's head into the downtown area, guys. Look at this. You can see multiple buildings spread out all the way across. A lot of them unique, some of them very tall, some not so tall. Okay, so we're going to start right over here with the Riverside Hotel. It is called the Riverside because obviously it's right next to the river. Uh, this building has zero interior done. Uh, this one, I built the exterior. I thought it was kind of cool, unique. Um, this one is completely uh, just made up as I went. I had no preset plans and I just kind of winged it. The lobby itself, um, I did put some lighting on the pillars. I wanted to make it kind of like a Greek entrance to it, which um, is a little bit different from the rest of the buildings I had. But this will be the lobby uh, once you enter in and then it will be filled out with um, different hotel rooms. And then up on top, as you can see above the sign, there will be a suite area for the more uh, well-off customers that we have. And here is my favorite building in the entire city. This is the courthouse. So I wanted to build a courthouse and I couldn't, I couldn't figure out how to build it. Um, in my mind, I kept thinking buildings that look similar to the city hall over there, right? And I kept thinking like, no, I don't want a city hall. I don't want to do that. So what I did is I went on the internet, I looked up on YouTube courthouses, and I just didn't see anything that fit what, what like, it just didn't, it wasn't good enough. And I'd hate to say that because some people are crazy good builders, but I just wanted to have something very, very unique. So instead, I just went on the internet and I found a picture of the Supreme Courthouse and I decided to try to build it. And this is what I came up with. Um, all of this is one of a kind. I built this from scratch, including the outside. I did all of this by myself without any pre, um, preconceived plans for the exterior. But um, all of this is, yeah, straight Pedro McLovin. So, We'll take a look at uh, the exterior one more time. If you take a look at the windows, each of them has, as I said, the contrast, the depth look, that look to them, which is really important. And even the walls here, as you can see, try to make it just a little different. And we can't pass this building without going inside and taking a look. There's no furniture in here, 
with the lighting and the flowers, the detail on the floor that I did. Oh. Just lovely. This is my favorite building because it took me quite a while to build this, as you can imagine, but I didn't have to make any major changes. Once I built it, that was it. I built it, I added some details with the lights. I did change the windows a little bit. And then the details um, up here on the roof, as you can see all here. Up close, you can see that each of these is a slab. And I just placed the slabs down differently um, across. And I ended up doing it the exact, I was able to end up doing it the exact same for each of them. Right, it's universal across. From here to the other side, it's the exact same. So I'm pretty proud of this building, honestly, as you can tell. Okay, um, let's let's go ahead and go this way first, and we'll we'll wrap up uh, finishing behind where we are currently. Um, some of these will go by pretty quick. There's not a lot of detail that goes into them. Here's a pretty basic office building. It's a modern style building. It does have like a rooftop garden looking atmosphere to it. No interior that has been completed on it at all but it's a clean looking building. Over here we have a parking garage. I thought it was pretty sweet. I like this building. Um, over here we have a big giant office building it is in the shape of a B. Uh, this was for somebody in my life. I built a building, their favorite color is pink and their name starts with a B. So I built this building for them. So this building is pretty important to me and I'll probably never end up tearing it down even though it's not one of the more detail oriented buildings. Uh, one feature I do like is the um, the tubes that go down uh, throughout the whole building. If you look at the interior here, right, you can see my plan was to add like a little um, flower garden, maybe a little pond in the middle there, but it goes all the way up. So each floor that you go on to will have the tubes that go up, which I really like that part of it. And try to do some exterior details. Um, over here is another office building. Office building and hotels is what you pretty much see quite a bit of. Um, this one's kind of cool because it staggers back and forth for the balconies. Right, as you can see, I really like that part of it. It makes the interior for each of these very large. All right, so whatever floor you're on, it's very large. As you can see, they're all empty, which will be a common theme that you'll see. Over here is the redstone building. I was planning on making this an office building as well, maybe a hotel. Um, I had not decided yet, but I really like how the redstone looks on the city texture pack. So I was pretty happy to use the redstone on it. Over here is the gold building. Um, this one's pretty cool. It does have some exterior done on it. It also has a little bit of interior done on it. The lobby here is kind of basic, uh, especially for what I can do these days. But it also has some uniqueness here. Um, these are some office building offices that were built. And then up here is a cafeteria that was built. So you think like, oh, well, you know, we work up on the 16th floor. Let's go down and have lunch. And that's on the second floor. Something that was just a little different. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's go here to these offices. Okay. So we have the twin office buildings here. They are connected by a community garden area with a little pond. Now, one of the cooler features about this is on top, we have a helicopter pad with an actual helicopter. It does not fly because this is Minecraft on Xbox, but there's a helicopter. Okay, we'll go here. This is one of my favorite buildings as well. This is a recreation of the Freedom Tower in New York City, the building that has replaced the World Trade Centers. I love this building. I had planned on doing the interior, but once I built it with the glass, which took me forever, 
I decided that I loved how it looked and I just wanted to keep it. So instead, I did a unique uh, fountain here in the middle and just left it. The lighting looks really cool at night if you turn the lights down for nighttime. So I just decided to leave it. Here is a very, very special building. Very special. This is the S building. This is for SJ, my son. A very important member of the uh, community here for my uh, YouTube and stream. So he has his own building. This building will never be touched. This will be his building forever. One thing that I did like that I did in this building that I wanted to try out and I really liked is that if you walk through the building on the bottom floor, there's an actual stair, uh, a little bridge that goes over a pond right in the middle of the uh, the downstairs. And I really like that. I thought it was unique and different and you don't see that in a lot of buildings. Okay, over here is one of the uh, more unique buildings. This is the Twisted Tower. So this, um, obviously I didn't come up with this design by myself. I went on YouTube. I knew I wanted one, but I went up on YouTube to find something that worked because I was having difficulty building this myself. Um, I did do the landscaping obviously all by myself, uh, having it raised up like this, having the entrance come through the bottom. This was all kind of something that I did. Um, the lighting here that's behind these that keeps it lit and it leads up to the tower. And if you twist enough, you might get under my spell. Okay. Um, something that I like to do is build some parks. They're small features, but they're important features in any kind of city. So here's a small park pathway little open area if people want to run through, have a picnic, whatever it may be. Um, here is one of my favorite buildings, but it's not complete yet. This is a hotel that I'm building. Um, I'm having two towers that go up with a area in the middle that connects them. That's where the lobby will be. This one over here, the exterior is completely done. I try to do a lot of um, detail on the pillars and the windows this has taken me a long time to build this but i really enjoy this All right this one's completely done 100 percent the interior will need to be worked on but i love this tower i love how it looks it's amazing the detail on the pillars the windows, everything. I love it. Love it. And you can see I'm starting to work on this one. Just need to fill in the pillars and then finish the top. 